I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our channel, Agla Same Schools. Today, in this video, I will be covering Chapter Seventeen of Class Eighth of Science, that is, Stars and the Solar System. So here, let's discuss question and answers. Choose the correct answer in questions one, two, and three. So question number one says, which of the following is not a member of a solar system? Part one says an asteroid, B a satellite, C a constellation, D a comet. So the answer is C a constellation. For the question number two says which of the following is not a planet of the sun? Part one says Ceres, second Mercury, third Saturn, fourth Earth. So the answer is A that is Ceres. For the question number three says phases of the moon occur because part one says we can see only that part of the moon which reflects light towards us. Second, our distance from the moon keeps changing. Third, the shadow of the Earth covers only a part of a moon's surface. Fourth, a thickness of the moon's atmosphere is not constant. So the answer is. A that is we can see only that part of moon which reflects light towards us. For the moon, the question number four would says fill in the blanks. Part one says the planet which is farthest from the sun is dash. Answer is Neptune. Second, the planet which appears reddish in color. Answer is Mars. Third, a group of stars that appear to form a pattern in the sky is known as dash. Answer is constellation. Fourth, a celestial body that revolves around a planet is called a dash. Answer is satellite. Fifth, shooting stars are actually not dash. Answer is stars. Sixth, asteroids are found between the orbits of Mars and dash. Answer is Jupiter. Further moving to our question number five, which says, make the following sentences as true and false. Part one says. Pole star is a member of the solar system. Answer is false. Second, Mercury is the smallest planet of the solar system. Answer is true. Third, Uranus is the farthest planet in the solar system. Answer is false. Fourth, I N S A T is an artificial satellite. Answer is true. Fifth, there are nine planets in the solar system. Answer is false. Sixth constellation Orion can be seen only with the telescope. Answer is false. For the question number six says match the item in column A with one or more items in column B. So inner planet answer is Earth and Mars. Outer planet Saturn. Constellation answer is Greater Bear or Orion. Fourth satellite of the Earth answer is Moon. For the question number seven says, in which part of the sky can you find Venus if it is visible as an evening star? So the answer is on the west side of the sky. Eighth question says, name the largest planet of the solar system. Answer is Jupiter. Ninth, what is an constellation? Name any two constellation. Answer is a group of stars which has a recognizable shape is called constellation. Examples are Ursa Major and Orion. Further moving to question number ten, which says, draw sketches to show that relative positions of prominent stars in Part One says Ursa Major, Part Two says Orion. So guys, you can do it yourself. Further moving to question number eleven, which says, name two objects other than planets which are member of a solar system. Answer is comets and asteroids. For the moving to our question number twelve, which says, explain how you can locate the pole star with the help of Ursa Major. Answer is, pole stars can be located with the help of two stars at the end of Ursa Major. Imagine a straight line passing through these stars. Extend the imaginary line in the north direction. The line is above five times the distance between two stars. The star is seen in this direction, which is called pole star. Now, question number thirteen says, "Do all the stars in the sky move?" Explain. So 
So the answer is no. All the stars do not move in the sky. Due to the rotation of earth on its own axis, stars seems to move in the sky. Further, question number 14 says, Why is the distance between stars express in light years? What do you understand by the statement that a star is 8 light years away from the earth? So the answer is, the stars are very far away from the earth and it is not convenient to express such distance in kilometers. Thus, such large distances are expressed in units known as light years. If we say that a star is 8 light years away from earth, it means that the light from the star will reach the earth in 8 years. Further, question number 15 says, The radius of Jupiter is 11 times the radius of the earth. Calculate the ratio of the volumes of Jupiter and the earth. How many earths can Jupiter accommodate? So guys, you can do it yourself. So guys, I have completed all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Aglasim Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.